Do you want to know the difference between a flat white and a cappuccino? These are two amazing coffee drinks that are served in many coffee shops across the world. They are slightly similar to each other because they both contain espresso with milk. But in reality, these two coffee drinks are totally different from each other. Let me explain. Working as a barista in a coffee shop, I've been making and serving these two coffee drinks to my customers. Until recently, I noticed something special about these two coffee drinks. By the increase in the number of customers asking about the flat white and some of them comparing the flat white to a dry cappuccino. This is why I've made this video so that I can explain to you everything that you must know about the flat white and the cappuccino. And how you can make a perfect flat white and a cappuccino whether you make your coffee at home or in a coffee shop let's start with the cappuccino the cappuccino is one of the most popular coffee drinks across the world but it's also one of the oldest coffee drinks it was first served in the 1950s and it originates from italy since then across the world the way people make cappuccino has been changing from the traditional way of making a cappuccino where you just extract your shot of espresso add steamed milk on it and top it with a foam to making a modern cappuccino where you extract your shot of espresso, steam your milk but you need to inject in more air into your milk so that you can create more foam to make your cappuccino. Well as for the flat white, this is the modern coffee drink that many coffee lovers are currently drinking. It was first served in the 1980s, it has two origins. Some claim it originates from Sydney, Australia and some claim it originates from Wellington, New Zealand. But since then, Flat white has been there until it became popular in the US and Canada in the year of 2009. And since it became popular in the US and Canada, there are two different recipes of making a flat white. Which one originates from the US and another one originates from Australia. And this is determined by the amount of espresso that they use in the process of making a flat white. We're going to be taking you through the full process of how we can make a flat white and a cappuccino. This is going to enable me to explain to you the main differences between the flat white and the cappuccino. So that next time, if we order for a cappuccino or a flat white, you know the differences. So let's start with the most important thing, which is the size of the cups. For the cappuccino, we are using a 6 ounce cup and for a flat white, we are using a 5 ounce cup. We're going to start making our flat white to grind our coffee bean, distribute and tamp it. Then extract a restrator shot. This recipe is from the USA. This is the recipe that we use in our coffee shop for making our flat white. We're going to extract a double shot of restrator. This is because we want our flat white to be well balanced with the milk. This is why we don't need to dilute our restrator. We're going to weigh a yield out of 20 grams for our double shot. Of As you can see, it's so creamy with a heavy creamer. This is going to give a good combination when added together with the milk that we're going to steam for our flat white. We're going to be using a full fat milk. The steaming process is the most important one and it's where the most difference is going to come from. The most important thing when you're steaming your milk for a flat white you're going to inject in less air into your milk so that you don't create too much foam on your flat white because flat white contains less foam after steaming our milk then we're going to start pouring our steamed milk into our espresso and we can easily create a decent latte art on our flat white using the small foam that we created and the perfect milk texture this is a wing tulip basic latte art that you can try making on your flat white this is how we make our flat white coffee in our coffee shop then next we're going to be making a cappuccino the same process as for the flat white we start by grinding our coffee bean distributing it and extracting our espresso for our cappuccino we are using a double shot of espresso but we are splitting it so that we can take one side of the spalp this is called a single shot of espresso basically we are using 18 grams espresso for our cappuccino so we're going to steam our milk also for the cappuccino you pour in your milk into your milk jug then start your steaming process for the cappuccino we need more foam on the cappuccino so we're going to inject in more air into our milk so that we can be able to have that heavy foam for our cappuccino 
So uh, after achieving your perfect milk texture, then we're going to make our latte art on our cappuccino. You start by mixing in your steamed milk into your espresso, then creating an amazing latte art on your cappuccino. I'm going to be making a swan latte art, which is one of my favorite latte art designs. So this is how we make a cappuccino in our coffee shop. So here's the difference that you can see with the foam on the flat white. It has less foam. And for the cappuccino, as you can see, it has more foam than the flat white. Cappuccino has more milk than the flat white. And for the strength, flat white is more stronger than the cappuccino. And the cup size, the cappuccino comes in a bigger cup than the flat white. This is how you can notice the difference between the cappuccino and the flat white. As per my personal experience, making and serving the flat white and the cappuccino. This is why you should check out this video next if you're someone who loves to have the best experience about coffee. It's slightly similar to this video because it explains you the differences between a latte and a cappuccino. Two of the most common coffee drinks that are often confused by most of the baristas and also the customers. 